All right, everybody, are you ready for more horror? You should be. I'm chewing gum! Yes. This game includes disturbing content and scenes of graphic violence. And ghoul. Yes! No, wait. Yes, no, yes. Wait, Capcom! Capcom! Oh, it's Silent Hill! <laughs> uh. <laughs> I know it's Konami, I'm just being an idiot. You're wrong, it's Luigi's Mansion 2. <gasps> yes. Jason of the Full Moon? Yes. I have no idea if that's even the actual title. <laughs> I just seen like a trailer of like Luigi fighting a shy guy Jason and it was fucking awesome. Shh, shh, shh. I don't even think that's in the game, but you know what? That's all I really know about the game. <laughs> this <laughs> is Shy Guy Jason and Luigi. This is it, Luigi. Girl penis killed on Christmas Eve. Girl penis? Yeah, pianist. Oh, uh, so you said penis. Get your fucking hearing checked. Huh? I need my hearing aid. Whenever you're done with that gum, because I don't want this to be a gum chewing episode. I just started chewing it. Well, stop. Start chewing it. <laughs> Shut up! Huh. Oh, I heard something else. Poof. <laughs> Is that what you heard? Probably. Poof. Ah, uh, Clock Tower 3. A step up from Clock Tower 2 of the struggle within. Though how a lot of people don't like it. How much steps up? Quite a bit, actually. So, like, a journey up a mountain step up? Or, like, I just stepped on a stale step up? Uh, half a mountain. Oh, that's from those from the headphones. The headphones are up really high. Not anymore! <laughs> So, a hill. A nice grassy knoll. Yeah, sure. Uh, let me go to load for a second. Because I do believe, if I did this right... We we'll thought the game was like... Yes! We got clear data! We can do a new game plus of this game! Let's do it! Okay. New game plus basically means that the psychos are faster, they deal more damage, and they've got new weaponry. And we got costumes! Yes! Costumes! We will not be doing a voting system. Sadly. Oh, and the best part about it is that we could skip the cutscenes if we want to. I don't think that would be an issue, though. I'm like, if we- if, by for some miraculous reason, I somehow die! Oh, yeah. I've never died once in this game. Dearest Alyssa, I have you? died to, um, Ralph before. It seems such a wow. Place you no, because I was trying to get the, um... The one when he fell off the cliff. Well, oh yeah, that one. That one when I when I did a fast forward of that was hilarious. Too bad it's gone now. I was trying. <laughs> I was trying to get um that evasion point to get him off my ass because he wouldn't leave me alone. Yeah, that's a really hard one. And I died there. I didn't die to him like in the boss battle or anything like that. I just couldn't really get him off of me. I know that what I well, we probably would talk to... about the plot of this game, but it's pretty, pretty easily cut, cut cookie cutter. Cookie cuddle? Yeah, it's e like you know, done. Alyssa, you're wanted on the telephone. It's What's your the mom? plot? It's real easy, actually. Besides, why bother about it? They're gonna learn about it. Learn? I thought I was out of school. There's the Spencer estate. Well, she is a schoolgirl. So, maybe we're in a learning class. Probably. Of what, the occult? A British accent. Mum! Mum! Mommy! Harry Potter! Harry Potter! <laughs> <laughs> the most non-British person ever, Dumbledore. <laughs> Harry Potter! <laughs> Let me scream your name! <laughs> I don't know if the actor was really British or not, but <laughs> he just that's all I kinda remember is him yelling <laughs> Harry's name.
It's a big fat man in a black trench coat. Um, excuse Silent. me. Bob? Are you one of the lodgers? Yes, no. I am. Not enough hair. Not enough um, hair. Oh. I'm Alyssa. Nancy's Maybe daughter. Silent Bob on chemo. Um, do you know where my no. mother is? <laughs> Your mother has gone out. That was early yesterday morning. Huh? She mentioned that she would not be coming back for some time. What? She was wrong. She won't be coming back at all. That's not it, I'm so it's just you. <laughs> I'm a pudgy You're pudge pudge. World now, I'm a fatty fatty two by four. <laughs> no, he's not that fat. He can't My even put sweet his sweet arms sweet. down. That's just I've the mocap. So long for this <laughs> There's no <laughs> mocap. <laughs> Look at Fanny! He can't even put his arms down! <laughs> well, that's enough cutscene time. It's time to play the game. Oh, he's not that fat. Can't put my arms. Maybe he's a fat man in a little coat. Fat man! <laughs> fat guy in a little coat. Fat guy in a little coat. Flex rip. <laughs> Alright, let's go check out the costumes. We have Ruder. No, that's Roman. Cowgirl. That's Ruder armor. Yep, armor. Biker. Jailbait and regular. And regular. Let's show them off. No. We're only showing one off. Let's show them all. No. Why? I already got the outfit I want. Why not? I don't know. Maybe it's the things on the shoulders. The tassels? <laughs> I think that's what they're called. I'm probably wrong. Tassels go on nipples. Along with like... Um, arms and knees and all that. And There's a ankles. tassel on your college hat. Yeah. It's like frilly stuff that... The Ultimate Warrior wall tassels on his arms. Yeah. So did Macho Man on his coat. I don't like the fact that the... Uh, watch. See? ba -bum. <laughs> Quick outfit change. Come on. This is PlayStation 2 era. <laughs> hey, come on. Resident Evil 4 did that. And that came out on the PS2. It came out for other systems for us. It was for the GameCube, and yeah. then it got a PS2 port. It still did that, so fuck off. Yeah, yeah, I remember what it doing, but we have to remember that's later, like when the PlayStation 2 was trying to be cycled out. This is like midlife PlayStation 2. Still could have done it. Could have, but didn't. No one likes the cry of blood joke. We've got the holy water. No, I just realized something. That holy water thing is way too big to be in that statue's head. Also makes you wonder how a piece of paper got in there too. Someone had that statue deliberately made to hold those items. Yes. Now what if she wasn't there when the when the plaster started to crack and give? Robert, you forget one thing. What? Timing! Ah! Oh, all the glass in my face! <laughs> Turn Alyssa around, just fucking gnarly glass all in her face and in her eyes. No. <laughs> nope, only works when they're lit up. When something gets into someone's eyes, their first reaction is to rub it. Yep. <laughs> so throwing shards of glass in someone's eyes, guess what they do? Dig it in deeper. <laughs> well, I've already stated my problems with this game in Clock Tower 2, so there's no need to go back and readdress them. Bus battles. I said there was no need to readdress them. Battles? <laughs> oh god. <laughs> this was a mistake. <laughs> no, it wasn't. I'm so worried about you. Where are you, Mum? Mum, 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 where are you, Mum? Mum. It's a black book. 
bound by human flesh? No. Oh. That's a really cool book, um, page keeper. I think it's a little open all. Bookmark. Yeah, it's a little open all. Oh. Doesn't look like one. Have you ever seen a letter open all? They're like small little blades that you cut. I've never had a problem with opening letters. Who's playing that? No, but, you know, Where's fancy people like from? to use them. Who's doing that? Why is Alyssa such a spaz? Does she have a heart problem? Oh, you mean like how she's like frantically like moving and her arms are like... Does she have a heart problem or is that what all British people do? I don't know. I British people, let us know. I know one British person that goes crazy and grabs the biggest book he sees when he sees a wasp. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, please do something about that fucking gum. The chewing's starting to get horrendous. <laughs> it's not horrendous! Yes, it is. Damn, I threw away a perfectly good piece of gum. You owe me a piece. No, I don't. Stop it! And now for very terrible bombs. Um, another thing, another thing that a lot of people had problems with, <laughs> had problem with this is they said it just kind of threw them into the um, situation without a muddle or a remnants of any storyline. They explain it. What's with the PlayStation One graphics? Yeah, seriously. <laughs> I just realized of all the times playing this game, I just realized that. I keep want to petition Telltale to remake the Clock Tower series. You made The Walking Dead excellent, and Wolves Among Us is actually really cool. Did you see anything of it? Yes, bits and pieces. And what I've seen, I've liked. I love it. So you can make a good Clock Tower 2 struggle within. Yeah, I think they could. A lot of people want them to remake um, Legend of Monkey Island. Secrets of Monkey Island? Oh, Secrets of Monkey Island. You know, something like that. I never really played it, so... All I know is it was a pretty good, like, pirate point-and-click adventure game. And people love it. You can get it on Steam. Oh, look. A dead person. Smeared! Yeah, he went... He went... He had to slide. <laughs> it's like he hit the ground. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Out! Baseball humo. This ghost is a dick. I'm a dick. He wants his ring back. You go in here, you get the ring. You gotta exercise the spirits to move on, because if you run past him to move further into the game, he won't let you. I won't let you. Basically. I'm just gonna stand by my corpse until you give me what I want. But I'm not telling you. Well, he said the ring. I'm only going to show this once because this gets repetitive and I'll be skipping the rest. Yeah, because you do this quite a lot. This is like one of the very few ways to actually get items. It's the only way. It's really the best way to get items. Well, you can find items laying around. I know. Fountain! Let's refill. At least it's not a little Cupid pan. Yeah, that would be awkward. Oh, this is awkward. <laughs> See, I told you, the song from Clock Tower 3 in The Struggle Within also makes it here, too. The Clock Tower 3 in The Struggle Within? Shut up. I was correcting myself. I know you like 3 so much and you hate 2, but at least get its name right. We don't need to see it. It just shatters and the door opens. That is all. <laughs> That is all. Now, we gotta come over here, go down the stairs, and we gotta pick up a item. Pen! Yep. A gold fountain pen. Dick, go away. I'm trying to help you! <laughs> trying to save you, asshole! Man, spirits can be so ungrateful. How petty are these people to be like left behind, be, to be stuck there because they lost a pen? 
You know how many pens I lose in my lifetime? Oh man, then you're gonna be a forever ghost. <laughs> no, I just shrug it off and go to the dollar store and get like a package of pens. We got an invisibility band. Oh, look, it's snowing. And okay. I, have a, I have a feeling it's gonna be happening here real soon. Okay, granted, you can't go to the dollar store around this era, but still. Because there was no dollar store. No. Oh, it's over there? No problem. I can crawl! Oh, get up. No, I like crawling. Bitch. Bitch? <laughs> bitch, bitch, wake up, bitch! <laughs> Who sings on her back? Fly forever. Woo! I feel this is probably one of the better alternates because the, the cowgirl one's alright. It's not. It's all done in horror games though, like the whole cowboy, all cowgirl get up. They realized this with Haunting Ground and made the gun absolute ass. Oh yeah! That gun is ass! <laughs> the cock gun, which does nothing. <laughs> Uh, the other one is a rough, is a black leather outfit, which, no, she's 14. Hug so tightly. I don't care, she's 14, no. Yeah, but hug so tightly. Unfortunately. And shows off a butt. Yes. The Rooter armor actually looks pretty cool, except for one angle you can see right up her sort, her armor thong. Oh yeah, she has an armored thong. Well, not an armored thong, it's leather. Is it? Yeah, from what I remember of the Still design. Still armored. Arm leather armor. Uh, armored weird. thong! It's still weird. <laughs> Doesn't she have, like, cleavage in that outfit no. as well? No. Just this one. Just this one. It's still weird. <laughs> it's still weird. Try to knock over everything. It doesn't matter, actually. Not now, anyways. No, because we haven't been introduced to the serial killer yet. <gasps> There's killers in Clock Tower 3? Oh, shut up! I thought this was a gather, uh, gather Quest game. You know, like Banjo-Kazooie. No, this isn't a collect-a-thon. Look at all that blood. You lied to me! Oh, shut up! There. Young girl murdered. You should have at least kept it on for a little bit. What if people want to read it? They can pause. A click. Yes. Well, I think I know where this is headed. Oh, Christmas tree. Oh, Christmas tree. <laughs> Oh, raspberry jam all over the place. You look better in red to me. <laughs> oh, it's time to introduce Sledgehammer's new weapon. Instead of that giant rock cutter stone, he's sporting a motherfucking mace. Oh, mall, I think it's actually called. Or is it a morning star? Actually, no, I think it's in the mall family. War Let's just go with the war club. No, it's not. No one knows. Alright, we're gonna pick this up. It burns! Don't they have like a better um, chance of finding you as well? Only if they're fast Please, enough. Sir, where are you? But he wasn't fast enough, he's too stupid. <laughs> Okay, he, you're right, he is listening. I always yeah, he, for the longest time, Robert thought he was sniffing. Yeah, I, I thought he was like... He like, tried to sniff you out. You're... no. Wouldn't surprise me. How well, this series is, would not surprise me. I also don't know how I feel about them teleporting everywhere. The dead. I know. And the and uh, the scissor man could teleport. Well, no, only Danny could. Okay, fine. That's a fair. That's a fair cause. 
I'm pretty sure like the bad guys in two could as well, but you know. No, they, they just disappeared. They hid in a box. Wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> they hid. You see Maxwell like be bopping around in a box like. <laughs> There's a diary. Let's pick up the Mace diary. Big old hatchet, like dragging out of the bottom. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Let's grab the invitation so that way we can get inside. Nope, nothing weird here. Nope. Oh yeah, we gotta go refill up our holy water before oh. we go inside. Well, we're almost there. Yeah. Alyssa. Alyssa. How? No matter how long you wait, he'll never break it down. How weak is Sludge Ammo when he can't even break a door? I mean, I kick in doors all the time. I think this is just this was scripted so that way it taught you how to use evasion points. Oh. Uh, by making so it's not really Sledgehammer's fault. It's just scripted. By making possibly the most physically strong subordinate unable um, to kick a door down. Unable to kick a door down. Yeah, he's pretty huge. Yeah, physically, I think Sledgehammer is the strongest, but as... Seeing as he and Lord Barrows are the only ones that can lift Alyssa up with one hand. But um, as it comes by powers... He's the weakest. He's the weakest. By a landslide. Chopper is supposed to be the leader, but I don't like Chopper. I don't know. I always thought Ralph and Jemima was stronger than him. Well, yeah, they claimed that, but they were so easily defeated. Sure, you needed a special thingy thing. The only thing about Jemima was the fact that you couldn't lock just on lock onto her. her. Everything else, she was the same. Oh, she had like abysmal health too, if I remember correctly. Yep. Okay, so it's fair to say that they're useless without each other. That's fair. To say. Since they're scissor twins. Like, if you had to fight them at the same time, I could see that being a problem. A pain in the ass, actually. Yeah, I agree with that. Because Ralph tries to. Oh, yeah, here. Okay, guys, here's what we're gonna do with um the videos. We're gonna record the whole chapter that's needed, like Sledgehammer, Corroder, blah, and then from there we'll split. Alright, just wanted to get that out of the way. You're saying? Oh yeah, like 